back to the Gregorio Girls channel and welcome to this week's rendition of Tutorial Tuesday. It has been a minute since I have been in front of a camera, so I'm sorry if I'm a little goofy today. I'm definitely a little goofy today and definitely struggling to even say my words correctly. So I apologize for that, but I am so excited to be sitting here back in front of the camera and filming for you guys today. So, I uh, heard we're all going back to school. And like, I can't even believe that that phrase is coming out of my mouth. Like, back to, back to where? Back to sleep? That's where I wanna go. Anyway, um, so I know that everyone's kind of preparing for going back to school and something that especially uh, used to come up, Sean and I are actually now out of school, which is like, just crazy, but um, that used to come up every time we were going back to school, you know, is, you have to ball on a budget, whether you're going back to college, back to high school, middle school, whatever. You gotta be able to spend your money wisely, right? Um, definitely something that I know I could be better at. So we wanted to make this back to school tutorial, all drugstore or like drugstore prices. Um, so products that are very affordable, but still good quality um, and just, just have a lot of fun with this. So this is the look that I came up with. Um, I think it's perfect for transitioning from summer to fall. Nice and neutral, perfect for daytime. Um, I really like the way it turned out. So I'm gonna stop babbling. <laughs> and without further ado, if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I am going to do is take this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser um, Face Primer and I'm going to prime my face with this. I've heard talk that this is a pretty good dupe for the Benefit Professional Primer. Um, I kind of ran out of my Professional. I wanted to do a comparison of them to really get my own opinion on that. And to be honest, I really couldn't because I just didn't have enough. But I will say I've been using this just like after I do my hangover primer, I've been using this just in the area like on my nose and here through my cheeks where I have bigger pores and I have been liking just having that extra layer. It does fill in my pores pretty nicely. But today we're gonna give it um, a test to see how it works on its own. So next, of course, I've talked about this and Shauna has talked about this many a time before. Um, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Now this foundation works for me in shade 238 when I'm like at my most tan. And I know it's hard to see because of the lights, but I do still have a little bit of a tan. Um, but I do think I need to lighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to mix shade 238 and shade 125. Stole this from Shauna. Thanks girl. Just to kind of get my perfect color here. So I just kind of mix a little bit of those two colors on the back of my hand and then I've actually been finding that taking a foundation brush and kind of just like lightly painting it on my face and then going back in with a beauty blender has been um, working really well. Shauna saw somebody do this on YouTube and thought it was a good idea so she suggested it to me to try it out and I actually have been liking it. I find that it helps me blend it out so far. Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand and I am going to do my highlighting concealer portion with that. So I actually don't have a um, drugstore like translucent powder that I really like. I just, I haven't really found one. John hasn't really found one. Um, but the Maybelline Fit Me powder is a pretty nice setting powder. So I'm just going to kind of use this and treat it like um, a translucent setting powder. So I'm just going to take a little um, little brush here. Nice, It's like a small fluffy brush that kind of lets you get into the crevices of your face. And I'm just going to go tap it in lightly underneath to set my concealer and you know run it on my forehead and everything like that. I do find that with the Maybelline um, matte foundation, the Fit Me matte foundation, I'm like it dries matte. Like it's, it's not really cakey, 
but it can get that way very quickly if you layer a ton of powder on top of it. I had to kind of learn that. If I put too much powder on top of it, it would start breaking up on my forehead and all that, and it's just not a good look. So um, you really don't need a ton, a ton of powder, but I just know that if I don't, especially throughout like the school day, if you're running around campus or you know, you're in high school and you just want it to last the whole day without having to go to the bathroom and touch it up and you have oily skin like I do, definitely a little bit of powder will go a long way to kind of combat the shine that you'll get in your T-zone. I've just found that taking like a huge powder brush and like all over my face doesn't really work for me. So moving on to bronzer, I finally have gotten the chance. I bought this last week bought this last week at Ulta. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's extremely, extremely hyped on Instagram, on YouTube, the whole nine. Um, and so I finally remembered to go to Ulta and pick it up. So I did. I will say it's pretty light. I find that now that it's the end of the summer, um, it is a little bit light. I kind of have to build it, but perfect for, I mean, me personally, when I start to go back to my natural skin tone. Um, so very good for lighter natural skin tones. Anyway, I'm just gonna take this in the hollows of my cheeks and blend it out. So you can see how it's it's very, very subtle, but it gives you a very, very nice color. You guys see that, how it's just very nice and subtle and like glowy? And even like in person, like it looks exactly like that in person too, like looking at it here in the mirror and also in the monitor just a beautiful without it being too orange or too overdone just like a beautiful soft glow again if you have a lighter skin tone if you have a darker skin tone it's not going to work for you um and then i'm just going to take it uh into kind of the sides of my temples here and at the top of my forehead as well Next for blush, another pretty highly raved about product um, on Instagram and YouTube. I am going to take the Milani Baked Blush. This is in the shade Luminoso. This is actually my first time trying this blush. So I'm just gonna take my favorite It Cosmetics um, blush brush and just pop that onto the apples of my cheeks. And look at that cut. I mean, that's, that's nice. It gives you like a nice peachy, corally um, glow. Next to finish off our base for highlight, I have to say NYX is my favorite like drugstore level um, brand for highlighting products. This, their Bright Idea uh, Illuminating Stick, I absolutely love these. They are nice and creamy and they give you a great glow, but without, um, like I don't find that this moves my makeup around like it's not gonna move my foundation it's not gonna move my blush or my bronzer or anything that I've already laid down but it gives a nice glow on top and then I just found I don't know how new this is but I just found this palette in Ulta last week um, it's called strobe of genius and it's just a highlighting illuminating palette from NYX and I was like on my way to the checkout and of course couldn't stop myself so I stopped to look at this and I was like, you know what, let me just swatch it. And so I swatched this little guy right here and just look, I mean, like that's, I was like, all right, all right, I'll buy it. I'm convinced, twist my arm. So anyway, um, I like to layer these two products on top of each other, especially if you know, you need it to last um, all day. So I am so off today. I am sorry. I literally like I haven't sat in front of a camera in probably like three weeks and I'm like going crazy. I forgot to mention what this is. This, like I said, is the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. It's in the shade Chardonnay Shimmer. So, so then once I apply that, I'll just dip my finger into one of these. So I'm going to take this is pretty much almost a direct match to that champagne color to the um, Chardonnay Shimmer illuminating stick and I'll just kind of place it on top almost as if I'm setting the cream with the powder not really almost I mean that's 
that's exactly what I'm doing. And then when I'm done my entire makeup and I go back in with my setting spray, that's when I'll take the fan brush and I'll go back into the powder one more time. So we'll get there at the end. So moving on to brows, I am going to take the NYX eyebrow powder pencil in the shade Espresso. So finally moving on to eyeshadow and I didn't bring down any of my eyeshadow brushes because I'm losing it today. Alright, so I am back with my eyeshadow brushes. I promise one of these days I'm going to get it together. That day is not today. So to prime, I don't really have a drugstore eyeshadow primer, so I'm just going to take my concealer, my lighter one, in the shade Sand, and use that to prime my eyelids. Alright, so today's featured eyeshadow palette is the e.l.f. Matte for Matte palette. This is 10 bucks at Target and I guess wherever you can buy e.l.f. Target is where Shauna and I got this. We actually had a request for this palette, um, so we're really excited to um, be using it today. So, none of these colors have names, but I am just going to take an all over eyeshadow brush and go into this first color right here and use that to just prep um, my eyelids just to shut just to shut just to shut the primer mm, okay yeah that's a word just to set the primer like so I'm telling you guys we will get through this we will get through this by we I mean me because I can't talk I can't remember anything can't do my makeup. I am a hot mess. It's a good thing I'm not going back to school because I don't know what I would be doing. Stay in school, kids. Your life is over when you get out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sometimes it feels that way though. Next for the crease, I am going to take one, two, three, four, this fourth shadow in from the left if you're like looking at the palette and use that as our first transition shade. And I really want to take this first shade up and out, just leaving a little space right underneath the brow, but really bring that up and out onto the brow bone. Then to deepen that up a little bit, I'm going to take the shade directly next to it. It's a little bit more of like a brick reddish kind of brown and use that to add a little bit more definition to the crease. And don't blend this one up quite as high. Then I'm actually going to take that first transition shade that we used um, and I'm going to use that for all over the lid as well. So just taking an all over shadow brush and packing that right onto the lid kind of all across here. Then for a little definition in the outer corner I'm going to take this shade right here. Um, third shade in from the right if you're looking at the palette and I am just going to pack that right in to this little like a little triangle out here in the outer corner of the eye and blend it upwards a little bit into the crease I'm using a nice fluffy brush so it's not too concentrated and it just kind of blends nicely with all the other colors the goal here is kind of just to add a little bit more um, kind of soft definition in the outer corner, like soft definition to the eye without being like, whoa, girl, where are you going? It's not the weekend. It's Monday. And then just for fun, because this is a matte palette, but I do want to add a little shimmer into the mix because I love a little shimmer in my life. Um, I am going to take, this is actually a NYX single eyeshadow. It's called Girl Talk. Perfect for back to school because you know the Girl Talk resumes when you go back to school ladies. But anyway, I'm just going to take a shadow brush here, dip into this, and I am just going to add that right in here in the very inner corner. And then to finish everything off, I'm going to go back in with that first shade that we used one more time, this one here, and blend that back over the lid to kind of blend it in with that color that we just placed to make sure that the matte and the shimmers 
uh, blend together. Now, if you like eyeliner, you can always add a liquid liner, a pencil liner to this look. Personally, I've kind of been preferring just mascara um, and no liner. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my touch with eyeliner a little bit because I never do it. Um, so feel free to add liner to this look if you would like. I am just going to prep my lashes for mascara, like so. And then, of course, personal free favorite. I am going to use the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. This has been a favorite of ours all summer. All right, so moving on to last but not least, lips. I am going to prep with the Maybelline Baby Lips Dr. Rescue Lip Balm. These lip balms, I'm sure it goes without saying because they are extremely popular, but these are the best. This one is medicated and it smells a little bit like a cough drop, which like I'm not the biggest fan of, but when you put it on, you can feel it's like, ah, like it does. It feels like medicine for your lips, like instantly healed. Um, so I've been loving this, but I literally would recommend anything in this line. They have like tinted ones, they have SPF ones, like love it so prep with that and then for lips I actually want to do a gloss with this look um, just because like when I was in high school I wore lip gloss literally every single day like every day like that was my thing was lip gloss always no matter what like never even wore chapstick literally only lip gloss <laughs> oh, memories but anyway um, before I do that I want to line my lips so I am going to use ColourPop now I know ColourPop is not technically available at a drugstore or Target or Ulta even or anything like that, but it is drugstore pricing. So I do want to go ahead and use these because these are just some of our absolute favorite lip products. So in order to help the gloss last longer throughout the day, I'm actually going to line my lips first. So I'm going to take the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade O Snap. It's this really beautiful, like neutral, mauve pinky type color. It actually almost directly matches the natural color of my lips, which is why I love it so much. And I'm just gonna line my lips with that. And like I said, this lip liner is just gonna give your lip gloss something to grab onto so it lasts longer throughout the day. If you're looking to make your lip color last longer, layering products like this is a really good way to do that. And then we are going to top this look off with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in the shade Finders Keepers. For setting spray to lock this in, I'm going to use the Mario Badesco Facial Spray um, with, it says Facial Spray, Face, This is the Mario Badesco Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. Again, um, I'm not really sure that you can get this at an actual drugstore, but you can get it at Ulta, um, and it's very, very affordable. So I'm just gonna give my face a spritz to lock everything in there. And then just before that dries, I'm gonna do our handy dandy strobing trick. And I'm going to dip back into our NYX Strobe of Genius palette one more time. And just get one last little bit of highlight there. Just to chop it off with a little something, something. All right guys, so here is the finished back to school look. I really like the way this turned out. These just like neutral, rosy, mauve-y, um, kind of still warmer tones are awesome for um, the transition from summer to fall, which I really like. I am so impressed with this eyeshadow palette. I got no fallout. Um, the colors were so blendable and you get 10 colors in here for 10 bucks and I feel like there's so much you can do with it. Like I obviously went pretty neutral for school, but like you could even with this section down the end here, create an awesome smoky eye with this and I think it would turn out perfectly. So um, 
big thumbs up to e.l.f. on that one. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like the products that I used. I know I had a lot of fun kind of digging through our makeup collection and seeing, oh, what can I use for this? What can I use for drugstore? Like, what can I use for this video? So this was really fun for me. Um, as always, if you have any requests, anything you want to see, any palettes you would like us to try out, please leave us a comment, send us a message, whatever. We love hearing um, from you guys and getting requests and know makes us feel kind of special <laughs> with our little YouTube channel here so with that I want to wish everyone heading back to school a very very happy and healthy and blessed school year um, I mean I still miss school every single day special shout out to everyone going back to my alma mater <laughs> if you're over 21 go to cafe and have a raspberry tea for me because I miss it so much <laughs> um, but seriously it is such um, a privilege and a gift to be able to get such a good education and I know I feel very blessed for the experience that I've had um, growing up and you know I want to wish everyone the best of luck this year so study hard and I will catch you guys in the next tutorial Tuesday video God bless Mwah.